Sometimes everyone just knows a certain actor is great for a part. However, there's so much more that goes into casting beyond mere chemistry. There's scheduling, payment, rights issues, and a whole host of other potential pitfalls. So nothing is ever guaranteed. However, these are the casting picks that would basically guarantee a spectacular end result. I'm Will for What Culture, and here are 10 castings for upcoming movies that must happen. 10. Nikolai Costa Waldo, Adam Warlock, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Though there certainly aren't any guarantees that Adam Warlock will appear in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, the character's existence within the MCU was confirmed at the end of the second film, and writer director James Gunn has since stated that he will play an important role in the MCU's future. Assuming that Adam Warlock does appear in Volume 3, however, casting the ultra charismatic space messiah rock god won't be easy. Zac Efron's name has been bandied around a lot online, though one suspects at this point that his casting would simply be way too obvious for Gunn to pull the trigger. But a more interesting possibility comes in the form of Game of Thrones star Nikolai Costa Waldo. In addition to bearing a strong physical resemblance to the comic book Warlock, we know he's got what it takes to play a charming asshole. It's an extremely tough part to cast, but Costa Waldo offers up the best of both worlds, cheeky suaveness and dramatic stoicism when the time calls for it. 9. Reggae Jean Page, Clark Kent slash Superman, J.J. Abrams' Superman It was reported earlier this year that J.J. Abrams is set to produce a new Superman movie, which will feature cinema's first black iteration of The Man of Steel. While many fans rushed to rightly suggest that Michael B. Jordan would be a fantastic pick for the part, Jordan took himself out of the running by confirming he would be just watching, and later announcing that he was working on his own independent black Superman project for HBO Max. Warner Brothers is currently on the hunt for a black actor to play their new cinematic version of Superman, and many tantalizing picks have been suggested by fans, though none feels more fitting than Bridgerton star Reggae Jean Page. Since shooting to fame in last year's Netflix period drama series, Page has become massively in demand, joining the cast of the Russo Brothers' new film The Grey Man, the upcoming Dungeons & Dragons reboot, and a new take on classic spy franchise The Saint. There's no way he isn't being talked about by Warner Bros, and he'd be as great a choice as anyone. 8. Keanu Reeves, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 it was recently confirmed that Idris Elba had been cast as Knuckles the Echidna in Sonic the Hedgehog 2, which seems to indicate the series' left-field casting sensibilities moving forward. Given that the first film's mid credit scene introduced Tails, it's fair to expect Sonic 2 to probably throw at least one more character into the mix to tease the inevitable third movie. And who would be a better choice than Shadow the Hedgehog? He's really the only character left not in the movies who even casual fans can recognize, so the possibility of him getting a mid credits introduction is quite high indeed. And with the series having no problems attracting A-list names like Jim Carrey and Elba, it's time to get in touch with Keanu Reeves' agent. His distinctive vocal tenor would be a perfect fit for the brooding lone wolf that is Shadow. And considering he recently proved with Toy Story 4 and Cyberpunk 2077 that he's not above voiceover work, why the hell not? 7. Jonathan Majors, Clubber Lang Jr., Creed 3. Michael B. Jordan is currently hard at work prepping Creed 3, which he will not only star in, but also direct in his future filmmaking debut. It was recently rumored that Loki star Jonathan Majors was being circled for the major antagonist role in the film, and Rocky fans are now crossing their fingers and toes that Majors will end up being cast as none other than the son of Rocky 3's villain, Clubber Lang. Mr. T. Majors has proven beyond any doubt that he has the larger-than-life charisma to convince as Mr. T's son, and given that Jordan has previously stated his enthusiasm for a threequel, co-starring Clubber Lang and his progeny, it actually seems quite likely this might all happen. 6. Will Poulter, Young President Snow, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes The mainline Hunger Games movie series wrapped up back in 2015 but it was just a matter of time before the cash cow was milked once more. And alas, it was recently confirmed that an adaptation of Suzanne Collins' new prequel novel, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, 
is due to start production next year. Given that the novel revolves around an 18-year-old President Snow, long before he became the tyrannical president of Pan Am, there will likely be a major casting call for younger actors to audition for the part. Though fans have been throwing around various names ever since the book's release, there's only one that truly struck a chord and that's Will Palter. Though the 28-year-old Brit actor skews a little high on the age front, he can easily pass for a young man in his early 20s, and by Hollywood standards, that's hardly a ridiculous fit anyway. Also, Palter has proven he has the gravitas and authority to hold the audience in his palm, as would be necessary for anyone playing a young Snow. 5. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt Reed Richards and Sue Storm Fantastic Four one of the most prominent pieces of fan casting of the last few years also happens to be one of the best. Real life married couple John Krasinski and Emily Blunt playing Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic, and Sue Storm, aka The Invisible Woman, in a new Fantastic Four movie. The fan cast received renewed attention in July of 2019 when Kevin Feige confirmed that a Marvel Cinematic Universe adaptation of Fantastic Four was indeed in development. Fans have been vocal enough about their enthusiasm to see the pair play the parts that the actors themselves have even responded. Krasinski enthusiastically said, If they are considering me for Mr. Fantastic, continue to consider me because I would love it. While Blunt was a little more diplomatic, saying, I don't know if superhero movies are for me. It will likely be a while before any casting announcements are made for the film, which is presumably still a few years away from release. But Krasinski and Blunt have the charisma and acting chops, not to mention inherent chemistry, to deliver definitive portrayals of Reed and Sue. 4. Liam Neeson, The Expendables 4 Though it's been an entire seven years since the release of The Expendables 3, Sylvester Stallone recently renewed his resolve to release a fourth film, working on pre-production design elements while the script was being hammered out. But the thrill of any Expendables movie is less about the finer details of the story than which legendary action stars Stallone can convince to appear. The Expendables 3 famously saw both Harrison Ford and Mel Gibson brought into the fold, and so expectations will be high that similar caliber stars will be announced for the next sequel. Pierce Brosnan has previously thrown his hat into the ring, and while he'd certainly be a great fit, there aren't many aging action stars who've enjoyed a more prolific level of success in recent years than Liam frickin' Neeson. Since the release of Taken back in 2008, Neeson has starred in over a dozen action flicks and carved out a surprising niche for himself as a grizzled, older action hero. To call him the perfect pick for Expendables 4 is an understatement. 3. Wesley Snipes Abraham Whistler or Jamal Afari Blade Much like the Fantastic Four, the MCU's Blade movie won't be rushing to cinemas anytime soon, even though Mahashala Ali was confirmed to be playing the Daywalker back in July of 2019. Wesley Snipes, who played Blade in the original trilogy of movies, has expressed his support for Ali's casting, as well as his willingness to play a part in the film, whatever that may be. Many fans have suggested the possibility of Snipes playing the movie's antagonist, allowing the actor to not so symbolically pass the torch to Ali through his inevitable demise. But if that idea ultimately feels a little too cute for its own good, it might be better to cast Snipes in the part of an established supporting character in Blade Law. Snipes would be an intriguing left-field pick to play Abraham Whistler, Blade's mentor and a vampire hunter, who was actually created for the original 1998 movie, yet first appeared in a 1995 episode of Spider-Man the Animated Series. Snipes would be perfect as Blade's grizzled, world-weary backup, and changing the character's race would also allow this new take to be a more explicitly black story. Or better yet, go for the deep cut and cast Snipes as Blade's original comic book mentor, a black man by the name of Jamal Afari. 2. Chris Hemsworth, Jack Aubrey, Master and Commander Prequel Back in June, it was confirmed that a prequel to the Oscar-winning epic war drama Master and Commander The Far Side of the World was in development. Given that at least 20 years will have passed between movies by the time shooting starts, it's evident that all the parts will need to be recast with younger actors. And given the utterly iconic nature of Crow's performance in the original, it'll require a truly statuesque actor to pull it off. The obvious answer is Crow's fellow countryman Chris Hemsworth. He's in great shape, can easily pass for a younger Russell Crowe, and proved in the admittedly otherwise mediocre In the Heart of the Sea that he can convince in this type of role. If the project comes together with the right budget and director, it's really tough to imagine anyone being better suited than Hemsworth. 
1. Timothy Dalton, Professor James Moriarty, Enola Holmes 2. Last year's Enola Holmes quickly became one of Netflix's most streamed original films in history, so it wasn't terribly surprising that a sequel was confirmed back in May, with production expected to begin as soon as this year. Millie Bobby Brown and Henry Cavill are already locked in to reprise the roles of Enola and Sherlock Holmes respectively, though it'll be curious to see which classic characters from Holmes' lore also end up being thrown into the mix. The most obvious touchstone would be Professor James Moriarty, who was missing from the first movie and is rumored to be making an appearance in the sequel. And Moriarty is always more fun when he's played by a scenery-chewing member of the acting old guard. Timothy Dalton, with his piercing gaze, appealing scruff of facial hair, and tendency to look spectacular in a suit, is the perfect choice. Dalton would bring the necessary combination of class and menace to the table. Think of a tweaked version of his ludicrously entertaining hot fuzz villain, Simon Skinner, and you're on the right track. And there you have it, folks. 10 castings for upcoming movies that must happen. Feel free to drop this video a like if you enjoyed it, and drop me a follow on Twitter at YouSlyDowGyu. I'm Will for What Culture. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you next time.